Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you see this mess behind me, it is because I'm having my Halloween party tomorrow. I am so excited. You guys know every year I host this party. If you've been watching my other videos, I've kind of mentioned it in the past. I've shown some previous pictures. This time I'm going to film kind of how I plan it and set it up. And I'm taking you with me. So let's go. So first things first, I guess, let's talk decor. I don't even know where to start. Maybe I should just start with where I got the game. <laughs> so I order my games online and I wanted a game that I could participate in where I don't have to play hostess, where I don't have to know who the villain is. I want to play too. So I'm so happy that I found the perfect game that allows me to play as a character as well without knowing who the villain is. And the games can be played multiple times over each time with a different outcome. This year's theme is Exorcism at the Asylum. And so the game is from Masters of Mystery. And each game comes with the evidence you need, um, character books. I'm not gonna show you all of it, but you know, you have round two getting to know the characters. It comes with a hostess guide to help you prepare best. And it comes with the voting ballots at the end, all the statements you need. So love that. And I just print everything. It even comes with a character sheet. I'll see if I can find that amongst everything that I have going on here. Yes, so it comes with these character sheets, the names, their role, how they act, how they dress. And so I usually start with just this. I'll read to you some of the characters because it's just so funny. Um, one character, the oldest resident of Madonna House, wears pajamas and slippers, carries rolled up newspaper most of the time. Um, one character thinks her family is still alive despite having killed her husband and seven children by setting fire to their home. And she wears her dead husband's shorts and t-shirt, which are far too big for her. Yeah, so you get the hint. It suggests how you should dress, how you should behave, um, the names, and I just kind of read them and I think, who in my family and friends would play that role best? I really try to get RSVPs too. You can only have so many characters and I even buy the extension pack and that gives me a maximum of 20 characters. And so not that I have first choice, second choice people, but certainly we invite our closest, most family and friends. And then once we gather RSVPs, we think about other people who would like to come or who have expressed interest in the past or people who we haven't gotten to invite before, you know, like new work friends and stuff. So that is on where I get the games, how I decide who the characters are and the theme. The decorating comes with the theme, of course. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me do this where to start. I have so much stuff. I have more Halloween stuff than I do Christmas stuff, honestly. Some things are new, like this skull, or this, yeah, this skull, and this cauldron. But, you know, other things I've collected and have kept over the years. I even decorate the bathroom. <laughs> when I have these parties, What's most important? What would I want to see first when I walk in? And for me, I try to make it loud right when you walk in the house. So I have the stairs decorated, the entryway decorated. I usually get the fog machine going in this corner, blowing towards the entrance. We change the color of our lights. So we'll choose a color, I think this year, because we're doing hospital, I think I'm gonna make them green. So then I come over here and I usually try to set up drinks. And yeah, so the dilemma this year is that in the years previous, we've turned this table, pushed it back to the wall, we've pushed the couch in, and we've had this whole area as like mingling, eating, drinking. In the years previous, we didn't have this chandelier. It is a very low hanging chandelier. Plus, Stanley's hanging out of it. So hear me out. I'm thinking if I leave the table the way it is and just push it all the way in against the wall there, 
We could take the couch and turn it so that it's against this wall here. Take up the rug, it's probably due for a wash anyway. And then we could have this whole area as the dance floor, food, drinks, mingling, you have it. Shout out to Quinn who's mowing the lawn. Love you, honey. This is probably one of my most favorite setups this year. Like every year you have something your favorite. This year is my chandelier and this little corner. I don't know. It just looks so splendidly spooky. So as you can see, I have a lot of my home decor already done that I've done throughout the season. And if you want to see more of that, you can check out my Instagram. But now I just need to set up and see what's gonna go where. Some other decor that I have this year that I've been working on is little prescription pill bottles. It's just old bottles that we had around or that my mom had and filled with Skittles. So I'm gonna put those out like medicine. Then I got this at the dollar store and this is actually edible. This is candy. How nasty does this look? So I was thinking about maybe putting it on this tray with some tools or something to make it look like a lobotomy. I never said that it was sensical, okay? Just that it was satisfying. I got this skull decanter or drink dispenser from my local home sense and these glasses from Amazon. I also used them last year for our Bridgerton theme and they're kind of sparkly, so it just worked really well for that theme. And I'm repurposing them because why not? But I did see this thing on Instagram, a friend tagged me in it, and it was the marshmallows all over the glass. So I think I'm gonna make a couple and encourage people to drink out of them when they get here. Then I start setting up dishes pretty early. I like to have in my head what's going where, how's it gonna look on the table, how is everything gonna fit, and this just helps me stay organized and on track. Got things set up so that I know what is going where. We're doing burgers. I also printed and put around a couple pictures and some quotes about old asylums. We're getting ready. We've got the sangria. have yet to put up the photo booth wall and set out the food. Here's my makeup, my two big pajamas. How cool. And creepy. 
Hi, cowboy. Hello. Shout out to my parents who came early to help me finish setting up. What did Quinn like the other day? A mic for my YouTube channel. So Father Brennan had warned Nurse Hinder to keep her babies out of sight. I did one of the patients to get a hold of them and wrap them around. I said, who does? <laughs> I think I'm gonna die for me. I heard the old man say, Here you go, Ella. I scooped her around the bed. My wife, she got me there. My wife, she got me there. Is it recording? Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> And bet you can't guess what Ella was just gonna say. <clears throat> That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Until next year.